and this is how everything started. I found this 2012 KTM 300XC on Craigslist. The bike was well used and abused. Exactly what I needed for this project. Hey guys, Rado here. And this right here is my dream off-road build that I was planning for quite some time. I found this 2012 KTM 300XC. Uh, it was abused and it was in a somewhat poor condition. Many things were not working properly and bike just didn't feel good. But that's okay because I wanted to go all the way to the frame, take everything apart and then I wanted to build this bike that would be way better than it was brand new back in 2012. And uh, my plan for this build, as you will see from this video, was a little bit unique. Uh, I was building a KTM that has a zero orange color on it. An entire bike was inspired by 2016 Slovakia edition KTM 300XC. And why is it Slovakia? That's because that's where I'm from. I'm originally from Slovakia and I wanted to build a bike that would be a tribute to uh, the country of my origins. The easiest part of every build is always a teardown. You are taking everything apart and this is a really fun part of the build because it doesn't take long and uh, it really looks like you did a lot of work because you have the bike sitting on a bench, sitting in the garage and you see every single part. Now this bike in particular was a little bit more complicated because it has a starter and wire harness was more complicated than my previous build that was YZ250. You guys, if you are working on a project like this, something similar, or if you just need to get some parts for your dirt bike, don't forget to try and go first local. Check your local dealer first. If you want to know what kind of inventory your local dealer has, you can jump on puremoto.com. You can do a search and see what kind of parts are in stack in your local dealer. And then you can just drive and pick it up. This video is going to take a little bit longer because I wanted to show you every single step of this build. So just sit back, relax, and I promise you're gonna like the final product. I shared my plan with guys from Dirtbag Magazine and they really wanted to be part of this build. So at the end, they will test the bike. I will give them the bike for some time, they will ride it and test it, and also they will feature it in their printed version of Dirtbag Magazine. Now this is definitely the dirtiest bike I ever took apart. Just look at all the build up on the engine. And I cannot wait to clean everything. I will hit it first with power washer and degrease everything. Then we will do nice hydro blasting, coating, powder coating, and this thing will look better than new. I don't cry when it rains no more. Or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing a Cause these stairs are all heading the you I don't wait for tomorrow sunshine When I feel it today But when it's cold in the dead of winter Remember that snow melts away One more cold drink One more road One more dance for the Tell the band to play one more slow song 
And look at this nasty dirty engine. I'm gonna hit it with a power washer and degrease everything and then take it over to Brett from Power Pros. Uh, he's a mechanic, he's my good friend that helps me with all the engine work on my dirt bikes. We're gonna take everything apart, inspect everything and see what needs to be replaced, what we need to get for this engine. <laughs> It didn't even take 40 minutes and everything is apart. Now we can see all the damage and we can see what kind of parts we need to get for this build. So we are going to go with brand new Vertex top end, we'll get hot rod uh, bottom end, then we are getting a, a new clutch basket from Hinson. For the clutch itself we are going to go with the stack KTM uh, clutch plates and the springs uh, and also we are going to order all new uh, bearings uh, they will come with a hot rod kit uh, and rent rabbit kit so bearings seals and everything will be new for the engine now look at all the build up on the linkage and everywhere else i will hit it first with the power washer and then i will send it over to moto blasters brett and mark uh, father and son duo doing incredible job hydroblasting and seracoting everything they will give a lot of love to our parts and once we have it back it will look better than new. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see what the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 but even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain Ta-da! Alright my friends, here we go We have everything done Everything is clean Hydroblasted Seracoated And everything looks amazing Way better than brand new Check it out
We are back at Parapros Garage and Brett is putting together our engine. Now you can see everything is nice and clean. We hydro busted everything and the Cerakoting also looks amazing. Uh, for this build I'm using Spec Bolts kit uh, that comes with all the bolts I need for the engine and also for the bike itself, for the plastics and everything else I need for the bike. It's doggy dog, it's many men. Fend for yourself, take what you can. Cause every pack has their own plan. And who will I be when the wolves come? For those of you who want to know if we are using a torque wrench, yes, we do use a torque wrench on the head and cylinder. But on the majority of the bolts, uh, you know, Brad is doing these engine builds. He builds maybe like 20 engines per month. So he really has a uh, calibrated elbow by now. He knows uh, what kind of pressure should be used uh, on, the, on those bolts, you know, holding engine together. So some of the bolts, uh, if you are not doing that thing uh, every day, then it's good to use uh, torque wrench, definitely. But as I said, Brad does it so many times and he tested it so many times that at this point, uh, there are many bolts that he can use, uh, he can tighten without a torque wrench. I'm also going to use a torque wrench when I put the bike together. Uh, especially, I'm gonna use it definitely on my forks and also on the linkage and a swing arm. As you can see, we are going a little bit faster through this engine and through entire build actually. But I have a list of uh, many videos that are way more detailed than this uh, time lapse. So if you guys are interested to see this build more in the details, I will drop the link below uh, in the description. You can go and you can see all the playlists with every single video we did on this build. There are a few hours of a footage right there. It's doggy dog, it's many men. Fend for yourself, take what you can. Cause every pack has their own plan. And who will I be when the wolves come? 
come knocking Well, I'll see that it's a snake that's talking Can't look back once you start walking, walking When all we really need is All we really need is love So the engine is done and it's looking really good. I think this is the best looking engine so far. So now it's time to move on and next very important step in this build would be to replace all the bearings. I got complete set from factory links, we will be replacing the steering stem bearings, the steering stem bearing races, uh, linkage bearings, swing arm bearings and uh, all the bearings uh, on our frame. And also we will grease everything real nice this will make bike feel brand new again there will be no funny noises there will be no squeaks and everything will be nice smooth and firm You probably noticed this red color frame, as I said in the beginning we're not gonna have anything orange on this bike and this is going to be a Slovakia edition uh, KTM which uh, will have white, red and blue as the main colors. So we send our frame over to San Diego powder coating along with the spring for our shock and they did this beautiful red powder coat and I think it looks really good. They say it was true that I was sold But the trouble with truth is it just don't get old There's a gravity to grace I can't escape And the trouble with grace it gives more than it takes Yeah I need grace that gives more Takes. There's a wild fire that's burning in my soul So baptize me in that fire and let me go I can hear the sound, it's calling me to live To leave behind what's dead and be born again Oh, oh, I need to be born again 
inside I'm seeing colors that I've never seen Yeah, black and white feels us of certainty Letting go Oh, personas I've perfected Leaving behind The bullets that I bury with Letting go Of the anger that I'm armored with And I'm letting go And I'm letting go There's a wildfire That's burning in my soul But the trouble with truth is it just don't get old They say it was true that I was sold But the trouble with truth is it just don't get old There's a gravity to grace I can't escape In the trouble with grace, it gives more than it takes Yeah, I need grace that gives more than it takes There's a wildfire that's burning in my soul So baptize me in that fire and let me go I can hear the sound, it's calling me to live To live inside I'm seeing colors that I've never seen yeah black and white feels us of certainty I can't live
expectations Letting go Oh, personas I've perfected Leaving behind the bullets that I bury with Letting go of the anger that I'm armored with And I'm letting go And I'm letting go There's a wildfire that's burning in my soul So about time The trouble with truth is it just don't get old Dream big, cause boy you're gonna make it Stand tall, there's a higher road you're taking Let go of everything that you know And be wild in the mystery I've been In the darkness for 40 days Searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? This is 2012 KTM 300, but I want to use the front end from 2020, which looks way better. And in order to do that, there is a bracket that you need to mount on your uh, triple clamp. This one I'm using is from Nilo Concept. I like it because it comes in two parts. Dream big, boy, gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road to take it. Let go of everything that you know. In the 
this for 40 days I've been Searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out?
Never wondering if they came But I've been fighting what I'm feeling Needing something to believe in Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the storm Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley Oh, lift me up, baby
and we are at Dirtbike TV Garage, which is becoming a tradition on my channel. We always finish the bikes at Jay's garage. So Jay and Spencer are helping me with the last details. We are taking care of the chain, bleeding the brakes, torquing everything to specs, and also installing our custom graphics from Decal MX, and just making sure that the bike will be 100% ready for testing. <laughs> So this is it 2012 KTM 300 Slovakia edition and this is the dirt and iron build number five man guys I cannot even tell you how stoked how happy I am looking at this build you know in the beginning when I started this build kind of long time ago maybe like eight months I had a certain uh, image in my mind see the picture right how this bike should look but I'm telling you the way it looks is way better than what I was envisioning in the beginning. So I'm really stoked how everything turned out. And this time, this build, we went all the way, even more than what we usually do. Uh, so everything is touched, everything is done, even more than, uh, than you need to, even more than you have to. So for example, the suspension, we took it completely apart. And when it was apart, we didn't just fix the, uh, the suspension, but we also did some custom uh, anodizing, some custom Cerakoting, some custom uh, powder coating so everything looks amazing when uh 
you know, when it came back from the shop and start putting these things, uh, these pieces together, man, I was so happy doing this build. You know the story, right? The Slovakia edition. I'm from Slovakia originally, and uh, KTM in 2016 had a six days edition that was in a Slovak colors because the race was in Slovakia for that year. When I first saw the bike, I was like, man, I have to have that bike one day. And it was kind of a long time ago, 2015. But then last year I bought this bike and I thought, hey, would be even better not to buy Slovakia edition, but to build my own original Slovakia edition that hopefully will look better and hopefully run better than the 2016 KTM Slovakia edition. So uh, this is it. You guys let me know, uh, is this bike looking better than 2016? Uh, share your opinion. I know it's a, it's a very uh, subjective uh, thing to say, but... I'm stoked. I think it looks amazing. Uh, let me know your opinion. I really want to hear your comments. So comment below and let me know. All right, so let's talk a little bit what we did to this bike. When we had our bare frame, we sent it over to San Diego Powder Coating. They did this beautiful red color. And we also have a matching uh, spring that's also done by them, powder coating uh, in San Diego Powder Coating. So everything is nice and red. And that was our beginning, our base. Uh, so then everything starts uh, from the frame. And uh, this uh, decals and, uh, and the motor seat seat cover and the white UFO plastic, that was this design that we had in mind. So I sent... Uh, my ideas over to Decal MX uh, along with my flag and they came up with this design. I didn't change anything. Maybe a few logos we moved like color combination but other than that this is what they originally came up with and I think it looks amazing. So it's just stunning right from the beginning. I just love how everything looks and this, these colors they are so vivid and nice and bright. In, uh, in a picture they look really good, but when you see this bike on the sun, it just looks amazing. You have for all white plastics, everything is white on this bike, even uh, we changed the airbox, so everything is white, there is nothing orange. This KTM has nothing orange, not even one little piece. I even got a new tank uh, cap because this piece was orange, so <laughs> I wanted to have it gray. So we got that. We also have brand new tank because the old tank had little scratches. As I said guys, this thing I took all the way and even a little bit further than that. I wanted this thing to be 110%. So no scratches, no old bolts, no little things that are uh, no good. Everything is done. And Jay Clark, he was uh, watching me doing it. So if I uh, wanted to cut a little corner, then he was there telling me, hey, <laughs> you gotta you gotta do it 100%. So thanks, Jay. Anyway, we did it 100% and it looks amazing. And I'm happy we did it in that way. Engine was done by Brett from Parapros. Uh, Brett, thanks a lot, man. You did an incredible job again. Uh, everything there is new. We have a uh, Range Rabbit kit, Vertex piston, Hinson clutch. Uh, we are running RK Tech head for this build with the insert for my elevation and my fuel I'm going to use. And the bike runs really good. When I broke it in, it runs really good. The carburetor is uh, keen uh, with JD jetting. And also we have V-Force reed cage. So the engine package is really solid. FMF full system gnarly pipe and uh, silencer is through my core 2 with a sparky because we are here in California we need to be you know legal to ride national forest now one thing that really stands out on this build and I really love it is the carbon fiber protection from P3 P3 carbon have this uh, nice piece from the top of the tank uh, for the stock tanks on KTM's and probably some other bikes too and it just looks amazing when you Combine it with a skid plate, pipe guard, and this top on the piece, uh, this piece on the top, it just looks so amazing. I really love it. So Petri Carbon is taking care of us uh, right here. And we have a lot of protection from bulletproof. Starting from the front wheel, there is a, a disc protection and the fork protection. Then we have the radiator protection. And also in the rear, we have our disc uh, guard and, uh, and the guard for the caliper. And also on the other side, we have this uh, protection for the swing arm. This is the best setup I ever had on radiators. Uh, we sent them over to ICW. They straightened them and also they welded some support, some braces directly on the radiators. Then we added bulletproof uh, guards to the front of the radiator. And in the back, we added a trail tech fan that will cool the bike down if I hit certain temperature when I'm in the you know, technical riding and it's a hot day. So we're gonna use that. This is like the, the best setup I ever had uh, on the trail bike. From Trailtech, we also have a Voyager trip computer nicely tucked in here. And it will show you, show you everything, has a GPS, shows you the elevation. So it's a really good piece right there. We are running a Phoenix handlebars, a little bit taller band. And the bar pad actually fits our color scheme. It's a uh, American flag, close, right? <laughs> We're in America, I live in America now, so it kind of makes sense. Slovakia and America comes together here, so that's fun. We have a handguard from Enduro Engineering and uh, 
the guard for this for the clutch slave cylinder as well as this little grab handle so we can uh, move the bike around easily Baja design got this really nice light and it's super bright when I turn it on it works really great and I have this switch on the side I got it directly from KTM uh, because I don't need to have it on all the time you know only when uh, it's dark I'm coming back home so I, I'm gonna use it maybe I don't know once in two months or so but I really wanted to have a headlight because uh, sometimes I come a little bit late uh, from a ride and uh, I'm thinking man it would be really good to have a headlight so now I have it and I think I'm gonna use it our wheels are from SRT off-road, uh, nice black uh, anodized rims and uh, raw aluminum hubs. And of course we are running uh, Dunlop tires, 8081 front and rear. This is really good uh, setup for the hard pack trails that are usually right. Now the brakes are completely done. Everything there is new from Golfer. We have oversized front rotor and uh, standard rear rotor. We have braided lines from Golfer and also new brake pads. We bled everything with J and these things. Uh, it just works amazing. It's such a good brakes, uh, Brembo brakes. Uh, if you if you do them newly, they they work really good. All these little Cerakoted pieces that are done on the bike that you're seeing when I'm showing the pictures, everything was done uh, at Moto Blasters over in at Florida. Thank you guys. You guys did an amazing job. Really appreciate your help. Now we have a lot of black anodized pieces from Works Connection. You know, for this bike, as I said, we didn't want to go uh, any color, nothing orange and nothing like that. So everything that is anodized is black and other aluminum parts are just raw aluminum. And I think uh, at the end, the final product, everything looks really good like that. Now every single ball that is super shiny is from spec bolts. We got the restoration kit. It comes with everything you need for the bike, starting from your forks, everything for the engine, everything for the plastic. So that's all done by spec bolts. TM design work, chain guide and chain slider in a black color looks great and works even better. Super sprocket, rear sprocket, front sprocket, and the O-ring gold chain. Every single bearing on this bike was rebuilt using factory links uh, bearing kits, starting from the front steering, uh, linkage, uh, and the swing arm. Everything is new, everything is greased, and it works really great. Foot pegs are titanium from Raptor. This is a company from UK. They're really nice and sharp, so I'm gonna be planted on this bike. In the front right here, we updated to 2020 look. Uh, we used Neil concept, the bracket, to be able to use this uh, new Refender Fastway Pro Motobillet kickstand. All right, my friends, I think that's that's about it. Uh, I'm probably forgetting little things because we did a lot of work on this bike, but hey, this is what I wanted to share today. Let me know again. Let me know below in the comments how you like this build, uh, how you like this uh, Slovakia edition, my own uh, version of, uh, I guess, six days KTM Slovakia edition bike. Uh, let me know what you think, and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.